any other products that should be used except these six products. Proper chew toys are a vital part to raising a happy, healthy, and well-adjusted dog. I'm going to go through my big three. I've been giving this spiel for many years. I've thought about it for many years. I've used it on dogs that come to the board and train, also on my own dogs. I believe in these three products. Secondarily, these three products would be the next tier down. You can walk down the aisle at these pet stores and there's junk products everywhere, unsafe, don't last a long time, dogs hate them, but mainly unsafe products out there. These products are gonna be judged on the criteria and I'm gonna explain it to you and explain the, all the pros and where they sit on safe, reinforcing, and long lasting. Those are really the main three, the big three. The other two ways I'm gonna judge these for you is gonna be cost, and also stinkiness. Dogs like stinkiness, um, but we don't. So that's not as important as safe, reinforcing, long lasting. We're gonna get into that right now. Here's my big three, guys. By the way, you might think I'm confident about my leash method or my doorway method or uh, getting aggressive dogs together method. I am so much more in love with my chew toy spiel than anything else. I believe in it so much. Any other products that should be used except these six products, okay? All right, here we go, we're getting right into it. The first, and then I'm gonna break down the number and I'm gonna give you, we're gonna crown a winner at the end of this. Okay, the first product is a food-filled frozen Kong. You take wet food, the pate style wet food, you fill up the Kong and you freeze it. A Kong just by itself is nothing, it's a piece of rubber. By the way, none of these companies have paid me, none of these companies have con, uh, contacted me and asked me to do this. This is just based on the best thing for you guys. Whenever I give this talk or used to give this talk in a class, someone would invariably say, yeah, I put peanut butter in it. Well, when I was raising Bosco, he was such a heavy chewer and I gave him so many of these, I didn't wanna, I do four of these a day when I was raising Bosco when he was six months old in his chewing stage. I'd give four of these a day. I'd sit in front of the TV at night, I'd fill up four of these, put them in the freezer, dole them out the next day. Bosco got half his food from a food-filled frozen Kong. He worked for half his diet. All right, food-filled frozen Kong. So, is it safe? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 on safety. Some dogs can chew this up. You can buy the harder ones, but some can chew this up and maybe they would ingest the rubber. It's very uncommon. So they get a nine out of 10 for safe. Reinforcing, it's an eight. Most dogs, are pretty into wet food. If your dog is not into these products, you should drop their base diet. If they eat four cups a day, I drop it to three and a half cups a day. You'll see the base decrease at about day four, and then they'll start being into this stuff. By the way, they're gonna make it back up in what you're giving them here, okay? Because this is all ingestible stuff. You don't wanna give your dog just squeaky toys and rope toys and this is, they're not gonna just chew on it. This is stuff they're gonna go off in the corner, they're gonna gnaw on it, and it's gonna relieve stress and anxiety and dogs need to chew on things. Nine out of 10, eight out of 10 for reinforcement, seven out of 10 for long lasting. By the way, long lasting, I don't mean two days. Nothing, nothing that's reinforcing lasts two days. I'm talking 45 minutes, an hour is a long time. Next on the list of my big three would be a marrow bone. It is a six on safety, just because it's a hard bone. So you gotta be careful with puppies, but for the most part, marrow bones are pretty safe, relatively safe. Reinforcing, we're giving this a nine. They love this marrow. By the way, what's in marrow has such good stuff in there for dogs. It's got all these amino acids, it's all natural. This is just a frozen marrow bone. Don't give the cooked ones you see in the aisle. Those bones can break. These bones almost never break. You can save money by then taking wet food, filling up the marrow bone and freezing that. Marrow bone gets a nine on reinforcement. One of the most reinforcing things here, the only thing more reinforcing is this, but there's, there's something about this that I don't love. All right, and a 10 in long lasting, okay? This thing probably lasts, it doesn't long, last as long as this, but it lasts a long time. Plus you can refill it, so then you actually, the marrow bone lasts a long time. A bully stick, they're disgusting. They're gross, they stink. I won't even tell you what they are. Are they safe? They're pretty safe. The problem is you gotta be careful if they 
eat this down to here, they can sometimes swallow a piece of this. So you've got to watch all these products. You have to watch your dog before you ever leave this for them when you leave. Okay, so be careful. Reinforcing, yeah, it's pretty reinforcing. It's a seven. Long lasting, it's an eight. These things last a long time. Here's the other thing you got to do. If your dog chews on leather, you want to give them a leathery product. If your dog chews on leather, I'm not saying they won't like this, but this isn't going to satiate what they're looking for. This will, this will, this won't. If your dog chews on hard things, harder things, you might want to go with something kind of harder. Okay, so think about that too. Here's the problem with bully sticks. One, they make your dog thirsty. You have to have access to water. Two, they get stale. I used to go into people's homes, I'd give them this talk, and the person would say, oh yeah, I know I do that. Uh, yeah, see, I give them a marrow bone, there's, or bully stick, there's one on the ground. There's a half-eaten one on the ground. The dog will never touch it again. You know why? They get stale. This is every single day. You have a dog under a year and a half, this is every day. This is multiple times a day. You're gonna, you're gonna fix, potentially, tearing up your house. You're gonna lower their stress. You're gonna fix them chewing on the furniture or your shoes. You might not fix it, you're gonna significantly help it. Most bang for your buck is probably chew toys, okay? Under a year and a half or even over, but better when they're young. Next stage, these are not as good as these. These are the big three, these are the main ones. These are the ones I love. These are the ones I like. Himalayan dog chew. Problem with this, you're gonna go broke. This with inflation right now is probably $18. If you wanna give one of these a day, dude, that's crazy money a week. But what's in this? Yak milk, cow milk, salt, and lime juice. Pretty natural. Not as natural as this, but pretty darn natural. I don't think there's many chemicals in it. So Himalayan, seven for safe. It's just a little hard. So the puppy teeth, you gotta be careful. Six for reinforcing. Dogs like them, dogs don't love them. Generally speaking, okay? Seven for long lasting, pretty long lasting. Maybe an eight. It's a pretty good product, okay? And it doesn't smell. Smells like nothing, right? This smells like horribleness. This smells like nothing. Antler, by the way, guys, write in the comments if you think I missed a product. I don't think I missed a product. I defy you to find a product that's safe, long-lasting, reinforcing more than these three. But I'd like to hear what you have to say. Antler, six for safety. It's just hard. You gotta be careful with some of those teeth. But, you know, dogs chew on hard things. It's, it's, it's kind of okay, you just gotta be careful. Three for reinforcing. There's not much to this. There's not a lot of flavor to this. But if your dog likes this, that's great because they last so long. 10 for long lasting, if your dog likes an answer. And all natural, this thing is not cheap, but it lasts so long, you're not gonna spend the same amount of money you are on these other things. This is the cheapest option. And lastly would be this product here. It's a fish skin, dehydrated fish skin. This product, there's other fish skins out there, but they're like hard and brittle. This company makes them, they're kind of leathery. 10 for safety, 10 for reinforcing. Dogs love these things. They stink, they, they're gonna make your house smell like fish, but this is gonna make yourself smell like something bad. You know, things are stinky that dogs like. They're not reinforcing, generally speaking, if they don't have smell to them. But it's all natural, it's just a fish skin. So it's 10-10, it's a one for long lasting. This will take Prince, 75 pound Doberman, three minutes. Okay, so this would be more of like something to give your dog. When Bosco used to, people would come over, he'd jump a little bit, okay? So one day I was just like, hey, let's give him something that he loves that lasts. If I give Bosco this when someone comes over, he's gonna go, no, I don't care enough about it. I'm, it's more fun to jump on the person. If I give him this, he's gonna go, thank you, chew his thing, people come in, oh, what's up, people, but I'm chewing my thing. They come in, he's done with it in three minutes, he gets up, they're already in the house, we missed all the doorway method, N hence three minutes later, he doesn't wanna jump on them because it's not the whole doorway process of them coming in. Good, good product, okay? Fish skins, but they don't last long enough to be in the top tier ones. So you know the top three ones, now we're gonna give a score and we're gonna crown the best dog product out there. The Kong gets a total Kong filled with wet food and frozen. Not just the Kong alone. Kong alone's a, 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 a total of 12. The Kong with wet food and frozen, which frozen makes it long lasting. Wet food makes it reinforcing. Kong makes it uh, long lasting. Um, gets a total of 24. Pretty high score, okay, on those three criteria. Marabone gets a total of 25. 
These two are basically the two best in my opinion. And a bully stick gets a 21. Himalayan dog chew gets a 20. Antler gets a 19. Fish skin gets a 21. Tied with the bully stick. But again, it's just, it's a one for long lasting. Can't be in the top tier if you score a one on anything. These are all around the best products out there. If you include cost in there, I think you're going with this. Best product out there. You're not gonna go broke. It's a little messy, but it's not stinky. You gotta get the pate style wet food. Don't get the chunky wet food. They won't go in there. With Bosco, I would fill four of these up every day and dole them out to him. I already told you that. Okay, that is my chew toy talk. I wanna hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Do you have another product? something else you like, but it's gotta be safe, reinforcing, long lasting. If you liked this video, if this video helped you, okay, then subscribe to the channel.